If a statute's language is clear and unambiguous, the statute's plain meaning governs its interpretation. This canon of statutory interpretation is aptly called the plain meaning rule. It's perhaps the most fundamental canon of statutory interpretation. However, if a statute's plain meaning isn't clear, courts turn to the statute's legislative history for guidance, as the case of People v. Lopez illustrates. On July 1, 1999, Wavyu Yang was seated in his parked van with the keys in the ignition and the engine off. Daniel Lopez approached the van and asked Yang if he wanted to buy a watch. Yang replied that he already had a watch. Lopez pulled out a gun and shot at the ground. Next, Lopez pointed the gun at Yang and demanded he get out of the van. Yang complied, leaving his keys in the ignition. Lopez climbed into the van. Yang, leaving, recalled he had left some checks in the van and returned to get them. Lopez pointed his gun at Yang and pulled the trigger twice. The gun didn't fire. Lopez fled. Thereafter, Lopez was charged with several crimes, including carjacking. The trial court convicted Lopez of multiple felony offenses, including the carjacking. Lopez appealed his carjacking conviction, claiming that because he hadn't started the van's engine or moved the van, he didn't commit a carjacking. Lopez asserted that, at most, he was guilty of attempted carjacking. The Court of Appeal rejected Lopez's claim and affirmed his carjacking conviction. The court determined that carjacking and robbery aren't analogous crimes. Unlike robbery, which requires the actual movement or asportation of a stolen item, carjacking does not. The California Supreme Court granted review.